beer with Mick and Bricken. What's up, everybody? Well, today on the show, we uh, have well, a different look. Well, we, we're, we're kind of on site today, Mick. And look, the last thing we ever wanted to do here was have a, a serious, somber episode. But, you know, we, we had a bit of a, a tragedy, a casualty, you might say, at the uh, McKenzie house yesterday. It involved a stunningly beautiful blonde-headed woman, my, my bride, a 20-foot Boston whaler, an unhooked trailer, about 50 foot of free fall, and a garage that you can see here in the background. Obviously, the garage did not survive this, uh, this incident. So, because this is such a somber, serious episode, I'm really wanting to pose something to the fans, the, the groupies out there. It's, it's, even though Mick and I are very intelligent uh, men, we, we, we don't have degrees in science and with all this COVID stuff going on, I'm a little bit concerned about episodic skull flatulence, uh, the, the acute brain fart, if that is a symptom possibly of COVID. So if anybody who watches this knows anybody who is a physician, uh, a doctor, uh, anything, a chiropractor, whatever it is, we really need to get to the bottom of this. I think this could really help some people out. Well, let's drink a beer. So what we are drinking today is emergency drinking beer. Uh, it's, it's brewed in, by Avondale Estates. It's in Georgia. It's an all-purpose blend. And on the back, you can see its contents are beer. So based on what we dealt with yesterday, based on what we're dealing with right now, I felt like emergency drinking beer was exactly what we needed to do. All right, well here, take your cup, Wavelength Brewing. All right. Mine's Boulder Dam Brewing Company. Crack these open and let's see what beer tastes like. It's got a little citrusy smell. It really does. After the Crichton beer, um, Leprechaun beer, I'm, I'm always a little skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> When I try something that I'm not really familiar with. We shouldn't be laughing or having a good time. This should be a somber, serious right. episode. Right. All right, well, good run. Thanks. It's a good beer. It's not bad. It's a good beer. It doesn't sm smell great to me, but it tastes good. It tastes good. It's got kind of a... Uh, it, at the end, a little bit of a carbonation, a little bit of hoppiness. Yeah, it does. Um, it's a light drinking beer. Definitely a beer you can get out and chug in an incident like this. Definitely something you can get out here and do. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I like it. I think it's a good beer. I'm going to give it a 375. Yeah, I'm going to give it a three and a quarter. You know, neat. I like the concept yeah. of it. Yeah. You know, it's not terrible. Um, I mean, I can drink these. Yep, I, no, I think I think it's a good beer. I think you know if you want to get out, I think you can drink a bunch of them. I think it's uh, it's got that chugability component, man. Wild Haven Beer, Avondale Estates, Georgia, emergency drinking beer. Check that out. All right, well, good luck with your with your shed here. Well, th you thank gonna... you, thank you. You know, What's I think that's uh, we've got to get somebody out here to tear it down, or it's going to be me tearing it down, and I really don't want it to be me. So. We're gonna look for somebody. I think we've probably already had somebody out here, but we're gonna, you know, like I said, guys, I hope this helps you. You know, for all, for all your, your spouses, your significant others, just make sure that everybody understands you gotta use safety chains. You gotta, you gotta attach that hitch to that ball or this is gonna happen. See ya.